you see exactly what they're doing. You see the mistakes that are that some other people are doing that are not making it because in the trading world and on the trading floor, the turnover can be pretty high. You could be seeing five new people come and go and like you can learn from those mistakes. So you mentioned joining the firm and you kind of got profitable like pretty quickly after you joined. Like you kind of said like it was like it was like pretty quickly after you joined, would you say? Yeah, I think about within within six months. I think I got my first paycheck uh, after four months. And it was it was like a tiny check. I think I got like $700 my first like month or, or something like that. Um, but it, it's been like consistently like bigger and bigger every, every month for the next couple of years. So yeah, it was pretty. But the thing is, like the strategy back then was uh, like super easy. Like it would, we had like good routes and we could buy on the bid and sell on the offer. Yeah, you know, and that was the, that was the the thing for a couple of years. Yeah, and so do you think it was like the environment where you're just with so many like minded people and you're just strategizing and you're with each other and you're just working super hard? Do you think that was what kind of really pushed you over the edge? I think that's a big factor. Um, I think that if you're trading with somebody in the room yeah. and you see exactly what they're doing. You see the mistakes that are that some other people are doing that are not making it because in in the trading world and on the on the trading floor, the turnover can be pretty high. You could be seeing somebody you know come and go within you know three three four five months. You know, five new people come and go, and like you can learn from those mistakes as well. Um, and then you can learn from the guys that have been there for a while too. You know, what are they doing? How are they acting when it's a slow market? How are they, what are they doing when it's a hot market? So absolutely. Yeah. That's a big, that's a big thing. That's one of the biggest, um, like <clears throat> pros, um, of being on a trading floor and it doesn't necessarily have to be, uh, on a prop floor. You know, you can like, uh, some people just have an office and they just trade together, uh, and, you know, individually, but it's just harder to find, I think people and then get together and like trust each other enough, yeah. you know, I would assume, but, I would do that. If I were like trading by myself, I would try and find somebody to trade with in an office because it just feels different. Like right now I'm at home and um, I traded from the office today. Like sometimes I trade from the office, sometimes from home and uh, from an office, it's just a lot more productive. There are more eyes on the market. Like people are calling out setups yeah. and like people are calling out certain things that like I don't see by myself when I'm yeah. uh, at home, you know, stuff like that. And um, you see how people deal with drawdowns and, you know, you help each other out. There's a lot like kind of brotherhood there, you know. How was it prior to COVID and now now post COVID? What it, that mentality and that brotherhood of being in person versus how you guys handled it when you were forced to stay at home? Um, I mean, it's pretty similar. We just kind of took a break on being in the office for a little bit, but uh, it's, it's quite similar. Um, I mean, the COVID, COVID was a crazy time and we tried to like kind of communicate as much as possible. Um, so we did a little bit of like, you know, video chats and stuff like that. Um, but it, I would say like tw 2019 compared to 2023, it's quite similar. The only difference is there's now a lot more people that are like they stayed at home because some people prefer to be at home. You know, they prefer to like lock themselves in the room and just kind of put on some music and trade and not be distracted. I would say for newer guys, they kind of have to be trading in the office. And for me personally, I feel like I trade better when I'm in the office. So did you notice any kind of trends in that you could, you could send these people home during COVID, right? And they struggled because they don't have that mentality around them. They don't have the influences around them. And all of a sudden they're on a downturn. Or and then when they come back into the office and now all of a sudden things are turning back around for them. Or the vice versa trader where they have too many influences, right? They have too many eyeballs looking at them and they want to be home by themselves in their zone, allowed to only do what they do. I don't think there's a correlation there that I've noticed. Um, I, so people during COVID, I think everybody did well for the most part, like doesn't matter, matter like where, where they were because like they had the skill set to do well. But yeah, I don't think there's, there's uh, any like direct correlation that, that I've noticed. Just some people are like experienced enough to trade from home by themselves and have enough confidence to put on the trade 
and not to look over their shoulder, make sure everybody else is in the same trade for conviction, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's it comes down to just your uh, experience. Thank <laughs> you.